Okay, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about color grading, especially how to color grade your skin tones the most efficient way possible. And I'm really excited to show you a tool that I found online. It is from a professional color scientist. It's uh, Stefan Ringelschwindner. Uh, I'm gonna link his Instagram and YouTube channel down below as well as the website where you can go and purchase this um, tool. Um, for disclaimer, the utility lot that I'm going to talk about today um, for skin tones. I purchased one myself as well as the uh, DCTL um, tool that I'm going to talk about in another video. But also I gotta admit he gave me a code to another utility. As you can see <laughs> his tools are um, probably best described as most efficient and the easy way to use DaVinci Resolve color, the color page. Okay, so let's get into this tool that I'm talking about, the utility LUTs. You can see I put some random uh, clips together where you can see a lot of skin tones in different ways. So here you see um, this is filmed in log uh, and here are a few clips that are on as Cinetone, so 8-bit footage and mixed lighting. This talking head and also outside uh, outside inside lock footage. To use this tool you go to your color page you open the timeline here on top you add a note effects and then you add the DCL DCTL. Um, as you can see I purchased a few from mono notes like uh, density, uh, desaturated, hue shift. Uh, in this utility lab, it's not just um, the skin tone, it is also, um, as you can see here, a mono clip. So you can see if your footage is clipping, and um, you can also isolate colors. But today we're going to talk about balancing your skin tones. And if you put this tool on your timeline, it is an overlay. Uh, let me activate it. Um, now it's getting very weird, right? What you see here is the perfect tool to uh, read your skin tone. I know it looks weird, but so hear me out. Okay, so what this tool does is, if you look at the vector scope, you see your skin tone line. Sure, with this light on top of um, your footage, um, there is no skin tone. It shows you if your skin tone leans more towards um, the green side, or the magenta side and the perfect skin tone is when the skin is shown yellow <laughs> okay so as you can see here so here is the skin tone line I deactivated the utility LUT and as you see it sits perfectly on this skin tone line well where this tool comes in very in handy is if you use your light box, you see all your footage at once. So you click on one of those thumbnails, you update all thumbnails. Oh, yeah. And then you can see if there is a clip where your skin tone is off or if all the clips that belong together are perfectly um, in balance. Let's take this clip right here, go back. So you see um, his skin tone is just a uh, rainbow. <laughs> you have a lot of green in it, of course your the lips are magenta, but let's go into this note tree. I'm in the balance note. Um, we use this for the skin tone now. Um, and as you can see, if I shift my offset, I can try to get the skin tone towards the yellow look as much as possible. I got a lot more yellow now, but you can see the magenta on the cheek and on his uh, left eye, which is not that bad, but I probably guess that was too much. A little bit too magenta now, but let me fix this real quick. Real quick. Turn it back on. But it's not necessary to get everything yellow. Um, your shadows and your highlights can be a little bit you know, 
magenta or green as you can see here here in the highlights here in the shadows the magenta highlights green um, but what you get is like a more rich skin tone make this big again make it go so here you see yeah, now it's on off you see the green shift even in the highlights so on off see now it looks more natural so i'm going to show you another clip this is a cinetone i turn this one back on now you see i do have again a lot of uh, yellow in this game but, but the great thing about this tool is um, that you get the whole picture like you don't have to you know put a mask on it uh, on every skin uh, on every person that's in the frame so right now I can look at the footage and say okay this skin tone right here is pretty much on point you get a little green shift here in the hair but we can do a little bit better on this side. Let's get right into uh, the note and the offset. No. I know I see there's a lot of green, so I shift my offset more towards magenta. And now let's try to get the whole skin yellow. And let me show what, what's happening if you overdo it. Okay, so turn it off. Full screen mode. Okay, this is off on off so off you see here it's turning from slight green shift to slight too much magenta and look at the hair like it, it looks much better before and worse afterwards like a lot of magenta in it so you gotta find you know something in between that's why it is so so efficient you can, you can already see there's too much magenta in the hair. Um, so you just go in there and dial it back. And as I said, it is not the worst thing to have a little bit of green in it as long as you have the most important parts. Like this is just the majority should be yellow. Um, let me show you now. You don't get this weird cast and the shadows and um, the highlights full screen let's turn it off and on off see and off get still get this green shift here in the skin um, now look at the hair the hair get, turns from a slightly green shift into the natural brown looking and also the skin looks way better like more natural I think in this one you have to uh, get really close to it and pay attention uh, towards the skin. So this is with using the light. And this is off, like just so slightly, as you can see here. It is, you know, it's just shifting everything just so slightly. Here you get um, a lot of different lighting. Like you have the natural light, then you have some weird airport airport uh, lighting going on. Uh, um, there's a top-down light in here if you want so yeah like a top-down so let's turn it on and go back to our, so this is a uh, cinetone footage and let's go back to our note and fix this skin tone so we'll go back to magenta not overdo it so this would be great but now you see um, the shadows the dark um, gets magenta the highlights green and this could probably be too much for 8-bit footage okay, turn it off off on off on for me that's a little bit too much towards magenta slightly okay now the majority of the skin is yellow so here it starts to clip in it's too much light in it yep you see there's uh, a little bit of clipping going on, but also the natural light is coming in and here you see all this um, more warm light from the inside. But let's turn it off. You see all the green shift here in the skin. Now you get more rich color into your skin. This is just the run and gun shooting um, for a documentary. 
he's a rapper, a German rapper, uh, Equa 2. What you have to notice is um, magenta, the shadows turn green. This is going to be fun. Probably, yeah. See, if I dial in more magenta to get rid of the greenish shadows, this turns everything else. So this turns um, the face in too much magenta. Shifting, probably not that bad. Like it's off, on, off. I mean, I do like this greenish look. It's more like an, um, not that it is an Alexa, but Alexas all have this green shift, this yellow green shift um, that looks really beautiful. Get back into the balance. I get a little bit more yellow into the shadows. Okay, as you can see now, before, after, before, and after. Here we go. You just put this on top of your footage, on the timeline, you open your light box, you update the thumbnails, and you can check the whole footage on one page. Uh, if there's one scene or one clip um, that is way off uh, in its skin tone. Or even if you're just uh, working on a talking head like I do right now. This is color graded with this tool um, to get the perfect skin tone. As you can see now, um, this is with the light on. And I don't know if you noticed, but this entire talking head was filmed on the new Blazer uh, Remus lenses. I got the 45 on my FX30 with the speed booster. T2 uh, with the 1.5X squeeze and I got the 65 uh, millimeter on the a7 IV so both full frame I'm gonna talk about the lenses in another video they are awesome I can tell you that and yeah that's it so if you're into color grading and you like to get your skin tones to where they should be as efficient as possible go to mononotes purchase the utility light and I'm um, I bet you will be happy with it because uh, I am. I'm using it now for a few weeks on all my projects. If it's a YouTube uh, video or a commercial video, it just ah, it makes it so much easier even to color grade on a MacBook. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>